In 1954, the movie Ryan in Cell Block 11 hit the screens, bringing with it a raw depiction of prison life. The plot revolves around a group of inmates who revolt against the harsh conditions they face. But there's more to this film than just its gripping storyline. As you watch, you'll uncover a mix of funny, shocking, and deeply sad facts that keep you on the edge of your seat. Have you ever watched a movie that left you thinking about a particular scene long after it ended? Riot in Cell Block 11 has moments like that. Scenes that stay with you, provoking thought, and sparking conversation. Perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with this film. Maybe it was the first movie you watched with your grandparents, or a film you bonded over with friends. Whatever it may be, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, keep your eyes peeled for those moments that grab hold of you, and get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. There's much to explore in Riot in Cell Block 11, and we're excited to dive into it with you. In 1954, a movie shook audiences with its raw depiction of life behind bars. Set in a penitentiary, it painted a stark picture of the struggles faced by inmates. It wasn't just entertainment, it was a wake-up call to society. Riot in Cell Block 11 wasn't just a movie, it was a mirror reflecting the harsh realities of the era. This film wasn't just about drama, it was about injustice and the fight for dignity. Immersing audiences in the gritty reality of prison life, Riot in Cell Block 11 took an unconventional approach by filming within the confines of California's Folsom State Prison. This 1954 production enlisted real guards and inmates as extras, adding authenticity to the portrayal of life behind bars. Directed by Don Siegel, the film aimed for realism by involving these individuals as advisors, ensuring accuracy in depicting prison life. Among the cast, actors like William Schaller and Frank Phelan brought their talents to the screen. Schaller, known for his roles in Twilight Zone, and Phelan, recognizable for his portrayal of Whitey and Whispering Smith, contributed to the film's raw narrative set against the backdrop of incarceration. The decision to shoot on location at Folsom State Prison not only lent credibility to the scenes, but also provided an immersive experience for viewers. By blending real-life prison elements with compelling performances, Riot in Cell Block 11 offers a glimpse into the harsh realities of confinement. This film's dedication to realism and powerful performances resonates with audiences, showcasing the commitment of its cast and crew to bring the prison experience vividly to the screen. In a world where movies capture our imagination, some actors leave a lasting impression with their performances. One such actor, Frank Phelan, known for roles in classics like The Palm Beach Story and It's a Wonderful Life, showed his range on screen. Another actor, Neville Brand, often played tough characters like the one who clashed with Elvis Presley in Love Me Tender. His roles added depth to the stories they were a part of. One film, now part of the Criterion Collection, is particularly noteworthy. It dives into the tensions of life behind bars, offering a glimpse into a world many never see. This film's inclusion in the Criterion Collection speaks to its significance in cinematic history. As characters navigate the challenges within the prison walls, the film invites viewers to reflect on the complexities of human life. Its storytelling and performances leave a powerful impression, adding to the collective experience of cinema. Following Riot in Cell Block 11, several cast members had notable backgrounds. Don Kiefer, a part of the original award-winning Broadway production of Arthur Miller's Death of a Salesman, was directed by Alia Kazan and starred Lee J. Cobb. William Schaller, a member of Los Angeles, the group theater during the 1940s, appeared in a production of W. Somerset Maugham's Reign directed by Charles Chaplin. Alvy Moore served in the U.S. Marine Corps during World War II, fighting in the Battle of Iwo Jima. These actors brought diverse experiences to the film, enriching its portrayal of life behind bars. In the old movie Riot in Cell Block 11 from 1954, some important people helped make it. Don Kiefer, who was part of New York's Actors Studio, had a big role. It was also the first movie for Madge Cleveland, which made it more interesting. Alby Moore, who met his future wife at the Pasadena Playhouse, had an odd connection with her because they both had similar last names, just spelled differently. These different backgrounds made the movie richer, with lots of talent and experiences. The movie is still remembered today because of how these people work together to tell its story. Did you know that in a certain movie, one actor learned a lot from his time in the military? Another actor started his career on the radio and became famous for mimicking someone's voice. The characters in the movie were inspired by real-life events that happened in a prison. This made the story more real and intense. Overall, the actors in the movie did a great job bringing their characters to life. 
It's interesting how their experiences and talents added depth to the story. It's like they made the movie feel very authentic and true to life. In the early days of TV, Dabs Greer became known for being the first person rescued by Superman in the first episode of the Adventures of Superman series. He wasn't given credit for this role, but it led to him having a bigger part in the second season where he played a man facing execution. Greer appeared in the series again later on. Paul Fries had a memorable career, starting in radio before he was interrupted by World War II. He was drafted into the U.S. Army and was injured during the D-Day invasion. After returning home, he needed a year to recover. Neville Brand, who played many different roles, had a complicated personal life. He was married three times and had daughters with each of his wives, named Mary, Katrina, and Michelle. These actors, with their diverse experiences in the entertainment industry, all contributed to the movie Riot in Cell Block 11, showing the many sides of their careers. Imbuing authenticity into its creation, the film showcases intriguing behind-the-scenes insights. One of its key contributors, Paul Fries, initially pursued an education in art before circumstances led him back to radio work. This decision not only added realism, but also brought the harsh prison setting to life with the involvement of actual inmates and guards from Folsom State Prison. Fries, known for his voice acting talents, left a significant impact on the industry, contributing to various projects, including this one. The blend of personal sacrifice, authenticity in casting, and talent in voice acting contributed to the unique appeal of this cinematic piece, making it a notable part of film history. Neville Brand, known for his role in the 1954 film, was not just a formidable actor, but also an avid reader. His personal library, once boasting over 30,000 books, dwindled to around 5,000 after a devastating 1978 fire in his Malibu home. William Shallert, another figure from the movie, showcased his versatility beyond acting. In an interview found in Tom Weaver's book, they fought in the creature features, Shallert delves into his experiences. Moreover, Shallert's talents extended to music, where he displayed proficiency as a composer, pianist, and singer. As the movie unfolds, these behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the multifaceted lives of the individuals involved, weaving a narrative that extends beyond the celluloid frames. In the world of Hollywood, there were actors who made a big impact both on and off the screen. Don Kiefer and Catherine McLeod were parents to three sons and had successful acting careers. William Phipps also had a notable career in the film industry. Their stories, shared in books like Wild Wild Westerners, give us a peek into their lives. These actors shaped the history of cinema and continue to be remembered today. Their stories remind us of the power of storytelling in movies 